So recently, the Deathslinger got a brand new cosmetic in the form of the Blighted Bounty Hunter skin. And while it does look incredible, it just has one slight problem. The gun model, well, you'll see in game, you can't really see through the sights, which means that we have to rely on the power of ESP to be able to see survivors. Scurvy, Xavier, do you want? And this was actually recommended to me by a YouTube comment. It starts off with Weave Attunement. Whenever an item becomes depleted for the first time, it is dropped and we see the auras of dropped items. Survivors within 12 meters of a dropped item have their auras revealed to me. And whenever they pick up a survivor item, they suffer from oblivious for 30 seconds. Following that, we have the one-two punch of Franklin's Demise. Our basic attacks cause survivors to drop their item. And while on the ground, it takes up to 90 seconds for it to lose all of its charges if it is not picked up. These items are also revealed to us within 32 meters, but we already kind of have that with Weave Tomb anyway. Then we have a Dracula perk in the form of Human Greed. We see the auras of unopened chests and survivors' auras are revealed for three seconds whenever they enter an eight meter range of a chest. We also gain the ability to kick chests to close them. That ability then has a 30 second cooldown and survivors can unlock closed chests 50% faster. Following this, we also have Hoarder. Survivors reveal their location when they interact with a chest or when they pick up an item within 64 meters of our location and we get two additional chests in the environment. Basically with all these perks, we're hoping to reveal survivor auras with items and chests and hopefully be able to get to see things because with this gun sight, we're not going to be able to. For add-ons, we're also running a pretty simple combination. First one is that we decrease the Redeemer's load time by 0.25 seconds as the modified ammo belt, and then the Rusted Spike. Whenever we hit a survivor while a survivor is being reeled in there, then mangled for 60 seconds. And of course, just a Blood Point offering at the end of the day. So we'll go ahead, run this build, and hopefully find some good matches. Okay, well, we took a while to get into that match, but <clears throat> we are playing on the Mount Ormond Resort. And, oh boy, let's go ahead and show you these weapon sights, dude. Like, you can even see that my hand is up too high. Like, I can't see anything with this. <laughs> oh, I should have broken out that wall. Anyway, let's go find some survivors. I think they might be on this generator back here. I do hear some progress on this one. There's someone vaulted out this way. They're playing the corner here. I actually get that shot just based off of, like, general game knowledge. But I get the hit as well, but... Golly day, I would have not gotten that otherwise. No item on the Dwight, by the way. Is he playing this pallet? No? Where did he go? Oh, I'm dumb. He 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 actually just sprinted out of here. Oh, we get some value off of human greed, though, so we do see him over there. Uh, and I can shoot through this, which is really funny. But normally I would be able to do that if I was, uh... You know, not on... Whoa! That actually misses. That's surprising to me. Okay, whatever. That's fine. We get this out of the way. I'm surprised that I missed that hit, but we get human greed aura reveal. We get a little bit of aura reveal on this. Yeah, I am taking a little bit too long to get a, a down on this guy. I'm surprised that that M1 didn't hit, though, on the back of him there. He just pre vaults that, goes around the backside here. And then I wait for him there. There we go. And just be a little bit patient with it. Reload. A little bit faster reload with that. We also have Mangled on this guy, so the good news is that we'll be able to uh, slow his healing down quite a bit when he comes off the hook. Because it's for the next 70 seconds. I can't remember exactly. I don't run this add-on very often, but that's okay. Let's keep on moving. I had to, like, wait and listen there uh, for the Dwight. And now, check on main. Nobody on main, which is good. Um, main usually is the linchpin in facilitating a lot of uh how do i put it it's the linchpin in facilitating a lot of three gens on this map specifically so you do have to look out for that i haven't seen anybody on the generator by shack that gen has a little bit of progress on it so it makes me think that there might be somebody hovering oh yeah, we saw some scratches there I, m I must have just missed the person that was here then i think they're touching this gen again though aren't they they're like around the corner here or something. I don't know exactly where. These people are playing very sneaky, actually. Come to think of it. And the Dwight not having an item actually really worked in our favor, too. Oh, I just find the Dwight again. Okay, this is not how I wanted this game to go. I want to go for the uh, uh, Vittorio here. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I'm just going to walk you down, I think. And grab this. Bonk. You have a key? I think he had a key. Dwight's there too. 
walk out this door. They have a pallet here? He has this, like, really unsafe pallet here. But we should be able to get this pretty quick. And we see Dwight on that as well. Because of uh, human greed. So now I can do this. Or is that Weave Attunement working for us? Whatever. Either or. Gotcha. E I don't even need ESP to know where you are. <laughs> Hopefully Dwight's new enough to know that he has to... Or knows that he... Oh, I didn't flick hard enough. That's okay. That's quite alright by me. Let's go back over here and get this Dwight off of here if he's still here. She's not, so we can kick this. Damage that. Pick you up. I could have kept going for the Nia as well, but I might as well take my hooks where I can uh, on this game. I I've been getting Ormond a lot lately. I don't know what it is, but just randomly assigned. I think I had one match where... Sorry, I was looking at that gen there. Um, oh, wait. That's... <gasps> that's... Oh, that's so good. That's hoarder value. Hoarder value, baby. Woo! This person's coming out right here. Hey, Claudia, how's it going? Drop that toolbox that you got out of the chest. All right, cool. Our ESP value continues. Yeah. It's going to go around that side. I'll, I'll let her have the pallet here. Or if that, I think that's a misplay. 100% a misplay. And that person picked up an item. Hold on. We know that they picked up. We know they're, they've they interacted with it because we're, uh, we have Hoarder on her. All right. Uh, let's kick this. Now the question is, do I go for the person in the shack gen, or do I go for the... I think I go for the Vittorio here, because I think they've healed under hook. I am correct, and I see the Nia there too. So it's Dwight over by shack. You don't have Sabo, but a very good fake. All right, there you go. And where, oh where, has Nia gone to? That's... She's over here on my right, actually. Somewhere. Sorry, I gotta, like, increase the volume on my game. I was messing around with some volume settings before. Oh, there's Vittorio. Let's go for Vittorio. I think Dwight, we can let Dwight have the Shack Gen anyway. Can I pull you out that way? No, not quite. I was hoping that I could, but I, I wasn't able to. That's okay. Is that Shack Gen? Yeah, that is. That's fine. Uh, and they're both working on this, but with both of them touching that now, I know that they don't have... Uh... I know that they don't have anything in the form of, like, what, Dead Art, maybe? Potentially? Or they won't have it available. So we can hit that, get that down, kick this again. A lot of value being given to us from... I think that's Human Greed, actually, off of that chest. Um, If there was, like, an extended... or <laughs> Imagine uh, open-handed, but for killers, you know? That would just be insane. Open-handed for killers, plus Human Greed and Weave Attunement. And Franklin, so you get like the ultimate aura read build. That would be pretty nuts. I'm gonna grab that. Even with the sights nerfing us, I'm still hitting some shots that I'm decently okay with so far. I mean, granted, they're, the survivors are playing pretty efficient on the gens, and I don't have any uh, gem regression whatsoever, but I still think that this is actually working out quite well for us. Just being a lot more patient with these shots, and that's all I need to do. I see those people on that gen, they don't know that I can see them, which is really funny. <laughs> like, they are they are being totally revealed by that chest there, and they have zero idea. Gotcha. Again, that's just, uh... I think that's just experience from Slinger. I'm not being helped at all by, uh... By, by my, uh, perks on that one, or my gun for that matter. Because with uh, the default gun, you can line up your shot pretty easily, but with that gun, you cannot. All right, pick you up. They got unhooked over there. So now the question is, do I go for the person who's on this hook, or do I go for the one back here? And my feeling is that I go for the one back here, because there's going to be two people here. Right? They unhook. They're like, okay, cool, we're right next to a gen. Or they're healing under hook. Put my... Did I see Claudia here? Oh, maybe I didn't. I thought I saw Claudette there for a second. But I was very wrong. I think they've run off in that direction, and I should actually be going for this gen over here. Because it's going to be the one with the... with the most uh, time on it. Gotcha. I had to lean into that one a little bit, but that's okay. 
This pallet, that pallet's still up there, by the way. I never broke it earlier. They can pick you up. I see that person way over there. There's this gen that's being worked on here. It could be Dwight on it again. Potentially. No, actually, there's nobody working on that. And we're getting information all across the board here. I think that was just from, like, a failed healing skill check, though. Not a good set of the gens, but a set of gens all the same. I think this knee is dead, too. If I can get to her before she gets up to that pallet again. There we go. You can shoot through those railings, which is just a good thing to know. <laughs> no! Come on, Nia! No! Oh, it was a good shot. Come on. Oh, oh man. All right, well... If that's if that's how you're feeling, then I'm not gonna not gonna deny you any favors here. Uh, I think that gen behind me gets completed. I was coming out to this one because I know that there were people on this one, but I don't think they are anymore. So that's Nia dead at least. I'm I'm upset that like you would disconnect in that exact moment. Like, why would you not take your death and then disconnect afterwards? You know? Like, why not do that first? Maybe they're like, oh, it's frickin', uh, I can't believe it. It's Weave Attunement and all this other stuff. I saw his aura up there from the chest, by the way. Or from this item here. So, they're all, they're all back here. From what I know. They were. There we go, cool. We got that guy. Do I, well, yeah, they're all, literally all here. And hit that. Just lining it up in my head on the... I don't have a crosshair, by the way, in case anyone was curious. No crosshair, no nothing. Just some good old knowledge of how to play the character. That's a revealing of their location as well. This Vittorio is dead, to my knowledge, too. So we should be able to get this guy. I know where Basement is. Actually, we should hook him Basement. No, no, no. He's dead, actually. I was thinking, oh, if we hook him Basement, he has the chest right next to him. We see the auras constantly, but um, <laughs> there's really no point if he's already dead on hook. So, yeah. Uh, go back to this gen again. There's Dwight. Who doesn't know that I can shoot through that. Uh, I was going to M1 there, but I did a little bit too late. If we can get him. Uh. Oh. Pfft. That was silly. Oh, she was on that gen. Okay. Well. Let's still go for the Dwight then. I should have just gone and turned around and got the Claudio. I wasn't sure if I had seen her or not. Oh, he's there. Yeah. He knows that windows are dangerous here. Uh. Nope. Stun you before he can get that. Down he goes. Claudette probably gets out, but that's alright. We'll go ahead and hook this, and then that'll be the end of the game. Up again. Oh boy. A real challenge on the Eerie of Crows. This is not going to go well. Uh, I can already tell you this because Deathslinger, uh, this is his weakest map. This is by far his worst map. <laughs> out of all of the maps in the game, this one takes the cake for being least deadly, least detrimental. Some people on this gen. Uh, and that's mostly because of the, uh, like the high brick structures on everything. That makes it really difficult to be able to actually pull people around or shoot through, right? Like, if you're looking at other maps that have regular tiles to loop around, um, you know, normally their structures are high enough to, oh, I need to be hiding my red light a little longer there. Hold on, let's pull this around the back side of this, so I think. Oh, I'm getting stuck! No! Uh, I got stuck on the... But you, you see what I mean, right? Like, this structure's too tall, so I can't, like, manipulate the chain in such a way that I'm, like, looking up to avoid it being pulled through. I can't shoot through any structures because they don't have, like, the regular... How would I put it? Like, the regular gaps that a lot of the, those ones do? Damn, that is a fast gen, too. Oh, if I had... Mmm... Nah, that, that was my mistake. I was, I think I was like trying to think too hard about whether she was going to dodge or not. And I just didn't think about trying to actually take the shot there. So that's 100% my bad. I also should have continued chasing the Nia there, but that's just my bad really. Where is that boon though? Oh, I can't take time. 
I, I honestly can't waste time around main. It's it's just too big of a time sink. Thankfully, we know that there's nobody over by Shack because of our uh, our perk from Border or uh, Human Green, and we know that there's nobody. It, well, like main's got to be the one, so it's got to be that gen. Yeah, main gen obviously, uh, and then like the that gen out there probably. Uh, will, will be the, the ones that we have to look out for the most because the rest of them are kind of covered by our aura rating abilities. So I think that they healed behind main. I found the Nia again too, which is good. Uh, but if she runs for main, we might be in a bit of trouble. That's like a max range shot there, holy. Well, at least I know my, my distance, so that's pretty good. Knock her again. Question is if I can keep up with this chase. Uh, yeah, with this window here, maybe not. Maybe we'll take this and keep going. I can keep chasing her, I guess. We do get information from Human Greed as to where she's going because of that chest upstairs, so that's pretty nice. But she does get this window, like, add into an item. Oh, wait, she doesn't take it, though. Wait. Like, she can probably hear that she's not in chase anymore, right? Like, am I crazy for that? Anyway. Quick reload. You know what? Getting one down on Aerie of Crows is fine. <laughs> I think, like, we're still also using the perks to their best effectiveness. Wow, also my filters are not ready for this map. <laughs> Alright, up we go. Uh, I think this gen and this gen are my two biggest worries. Yeah, that's what I figured. I see you there. Let's, let's pretend like we don't see her on uh, Human Greed. Did she cut back? No, she didn't. She's just here. Pretend. Pretend aim again. We get that as well. Very nice. And we gotta remember as well that human green doesn't constantly reveal auras. It only reveals for three seconds when they enter the area. There we go. I think that that's a controller player, 100%. I think they meant to vault the window in panic uh, and then jumped into the locker by mistake. So, you know, that's pretty good. That's, that's all right. And now we got to look for everyone else. I think we can look around this unhook. They re oh wait, Nia's just here. Okay. Well, she did get healed pretty quickly, which is good for her. Uh, do I mean to tunnel? Absolutely not. Will I, if given such opportunities? Hell yes. Oh, I thought she was gonna camp that a little bit closer. There we go. Cool. Hello, Sable. How's it going, girly? Oh, nah. I missed. I whiffed that. That was pretty bad. Can reload, though. The uh, change to reload speed, like the speed that you... Not the speed at which you reload, but the speed at which you move... Oh, you're in here. The speed at which you move when reloading feels a lot better than it did before. Cool. I'm I'm fine with this. I'm fine with not tunneling the uh, the Nia, personally speaking. Let's kick this as well. Nia's been picked up. I think she crawled back towards main. Okay, I have the aim correct, but there's also a massive brick wall in my way, so that's not going to help me at all. Uh, that's a shadow step boon along with potentially like circle of healing and or exponential. So let's snuff that out real quick. Because I do have a little bit of time now that I have those two pressured off. They might go off and heal somewhere else, too. Oh, wait. Unhook. I'm okay with this. Gotcha. Man, people are really uh, adamant on getting their blocks in, though, huh? I mean, good for them. They need to. It's gonna help their team a lot in the long run. Ooh, they picked up an item. Now we know because of Hoarder. I see Nia going into this corner here, too. How's it going? Yeah, Hoarder, Hoarder told me that you picked, you, you picked that up. So let's knock you down again. Let's get you on your second hook now. Now that we can. We have that avail, available. Babail, ba, 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 available. Goodness, I'm having a stroke. Right down into the basement. You go. And the good news about this is that we have that chest there, which means that... Now, when somebody comes to pick you up, uh, we will be able to see their aura on on that chest. Hello there, girly. How's it going? 
I think I'm actually okay with Oh, nah, that was pretty bad. Um I was thinking that she was gonna keep running around the corner. That guy gives up too? Let's freaking go. Wait, that's really good news for me. I'm not certain if that was hitting or not because of the sights, <laughs> like blocking my vision of where that projectile actually went. But we'll take you. In the meantime, I'm on over. It's a nice hit. Did I get an item? I did. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, where are we going? Oh, there we are. Eh, I could have hit that too if I wanted. But I don't think I should have. She has balance landing? I think that was balance landing. I didn't hear her scream when she was falling. Along with uh, Dance With Me. Gotcha. Might have also been head on. Like Dance With Me head on. Business going on here. And up you go. Cool. So that's another hook added to our total, our tally. Uh, mm, my general feeling is, yeah, I was going to say one of these gens like out by Shaq or something, and then she's probably going to run off to the right. Just because, oh, the boon's back up too. <laughs> I, I had heard the sound effect earlier, but I'm going to reaffirm it now. And clean it out. Make sure that they don't get to use Circle of Healing or whatever that perk is. Let's see if I can catch them on the run out here. No, I can't. I thought they would go around back of main. They did not. So let's go. They, they're not even in main, actually, properly. So my assumption, this gen got done. Move on to the next one next to it. Closest to it next. Next closest gen to it. Good lord. We're going to see an aura here pretty soon. Yep. A little flicker of one, but an aura all the same. I'm going to vault this. Oh, my right. Okay. So they did manage to cross the window. Altered that again. <laughs> she was trying to hide in that bush. I respect it. You know what? I respect the hell out of it. <laughs> I understand. Oh, and she drops the pallet? All right. That's fine. And she tries to dodge to avoid the spear? That's fine. That buys me time to kick the pallet and knock you out. Because we were stunned, we were stunned on the correct side, but her the right play for her would have been to go for the window, and then uh, vault out that way, and then continue playing this corner. But instead, she ducks into the corner to avoid a spear shot, which isn't doing a whole lot there to begin with, because I've already hit you once. Um, so realistically, what you want to do in that moment is make as much distance as possible. Because again, if if I if I spear you and I get stunned, I still have to. Go work around the pallet being down. I still have to work around trying to catch you on the backside of Shaq. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I, and it's both of them there, too. So, now that we know that, I am going to pretend like Sable isn't here. <laughs> I mean, I, I know that she's there. I know that you're there as well. Did you go for the window? There we go. Aiming low this time. Knock you down. I don't... Look, I could go for the the counter unhook as I see the Yunjin sprinting over there. Do I really care about it? N not really. Up we go. I mean, one gen remaining. This game's been pretty close. We see our aura there. We can go and knock somebody. Punch somebody in the mouth. Now they have to make their way out. Eh. I know that she already has endurance added on. I think this person's running out to the left. I'm correct. Going for the unhook now. Uh, I don't think I really get much for that. That's okay. Nice. Good. Very, very good. Everyone injured. I'm fine with this. Oh, barely. They're all back here. I kind of want to go for the Cheryl and the Sable because it's pressuring two people instead of just one. That's also human greed showing them off on the... Oh, that was a bad shot. That was a really bad shot. I thought she would kite left. She did not. We know that Cheryl's here, too. I can hit over this, though. Or I can just take the follow-up on that as well. That works for me just fine. And I think that's Yunjin setting up the boon on main again. Because we saw her run back there. I think it's like, she knows where one totem is, baby. 
Oh, and she picked up the item in main. Oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm gonna go over here, if you don't mind. Get this person out the game as well. And that should pretty much be GG's now. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up and finding out where. <laughs> yeah, it's the exact same boon again. Finding out where the Yunjin is. Pick this. Stop igniting that boon, I swear to Jeebus. Okay. Now the question is, where did everyone else go? Also, I apologize for my... If my th line of thinking is not very clear. I've been feeling a little sick today. And my brain is not... Working as well as it does. Not like it really works all that well to begin with, but... You get the point. You get the idea. Uh, my guess, then, with these two gens still regressing is that they're on this one. Both of them being injured, the best play for them is to hopefully get a... Like an adrenaline pick or something. I'm gonna block off the pallet if I can. Oh. I hear you on this corner. And we know where the Cheryl is, too. We just saw her get revealed by Hoarder. That was bad. That was really bad. I just give her that pallet for free. She keep running? She does. Okay. Break that. We see the direction that she's running because of human greed. I missed the shot. No. All right. Well, that's fine. Does she get much further? No. Beautiful. Line up the shot as you need to. A little quick reload and then we'll go hook you as well. This will be your second hook, I think. And so now, end game is just a matter of finding the Cheryl, whom we saw pick up an item way back there. So that means that she's not working on a gen presently. Could be hiding around main somewhere, or like in a corner of some type. Uh, is she back there? I'm just looking. Oh no, she's on this gen. What? She's on that gen there. I see her ass. I see you. Girl, I, I I see your your whole patukas right there. Oh no, Cheryl. Oh no, girly. <laughs> I hope I hope it looked as funny as I thought it did on on her side as it did on mine. You know, let's get the Mori as well with the full gun and everything now that we have it. Alright, here we go. That's a good ending to the Aerie of Crows game with the full blighted set, not just the skin itself. Goodbye, Cheryl. Alright, neat little 4K1 and we'll get right into our next match. Alright, Suffocation Pit. Big map, but big opportunities for domination, for a good result for us. Nobody on Human Greed yet, so... With nobody on that... Oh, wait. We saw an order there. Let's go for this. We also get hoarder value. Let's freaking go. So now, I don't know if they know that we have hoarder value or not. But. But we do. I'm going to hit this just so that we can uh, get the hit before he gets the pallet out. Moonwalk a bit. Oh, I thought he would uh, hold the corner. I guess it's like a bit of an unsafe tile, though. Ooh, you should definitely look at the window there, bud. Whoa, nice dodge. I can't let him have the window, though. That's why I have to reload here. Aim down. Aim down. Oh, I thought he would go for that again. <laughs> what? How do I miss that one? Ah, now I've given him the window. That's a mistake. That's okay. We can run him down. Because there's no window here. Might be a pallet on the backside here, though. Oh, narrowly. Very, very narrowly. I'm surprised that I missed that many, but then again, I am using... The worst cosmetic in the game. <laughs> but, nah, that was just skill issue. I should know how to hit those, because you saw me hit a lot of those earlier. Oh, he's, he's playing this really well. Yeah, I gave him the window for free, etc., etc. Do you have the pallet again? Are you just running it? I see. Let's get close, then. We then have a lot of time on the backside of this map. Now it's a matter of getting him on the backside of a lot of these other loops here. Oh, and he doesn't go to the right. Bummer. Okay. Well, we'll kick this. Or actually kick this guy off of there. I think that's a trap that you put on there too, bud. Interesting. Not even looking behind himself. Hmm, interesting. Perhaps this will be an easier match for me. Perhaps. But they do have a lot of progress. 
Soma is mending in the corner. Bill is playing this pallet specifically. There we go. <laughs> we just kind of moonwalk on him a little bit there. Hear a lot of progress on this too. Who's here? I wonder. I didn't see an aura going there, so... Well, worth a guess, but... Not there, maybe this one? Nope. I mean, I should know as well the uh, animation is slightly different when that happens. Alright, Bill, get over here. Picking you up, and we're putting you on a hook, and we're starting the game off. Not very strong, though. We have, like, I think we're already at two gens. No, no joke. <laughs> With this one in the corner being almost done, and then the one that Bill was on also being halfway done, it's, uh... It's close. Yeah, there's that one. We see that aura for a second as well. I think that's Soma. And the one that I don't have a whole lot of information on is the one in Shack. Oh, there's Soma. Hello, buddy. How's it going? Let's see if I can get a shot on you this time. Yes, I can! Just gotta lead the shot a little bit more properly that time and not around... Uh, the usual fair of obstacles because the little like kiting back and forth that he was doing to uh, manipulate the hitbox was actually really well done. So we finally got him, and now we got to go back for this gen again because uh, they healed Bill pretty much instantly. Makes me think that we'll make it is in play. I'm okay with this. I don't know if I get the hit around the backside or not. I don't. Does she vault? No, she does not. She did stop the regression on that, but I think I have to match her freak, match her uh, movement here. You go for main? No, she goes for this tile. Understood. Oh, she ducks it too. I mean, I missed. <laughs> I hit the the uh, coal there. Oh, I was I was very lucky on this guess though. She have a window? Is that one? Oh, I actually give her a, a window vault now. For that swing. Well played. Well freaking played. Oh no, not this vault again. This time we get it. <sighs> I, I thought I was going to hit the windowsill there, so I'm very lucky that I didn't. I'm going to stop going off because of uh, Hoarder. Information there. I have basement here as well. We can tell because of the chest that we see down below. So this will give me a lot of information. Unfortunately, we, like I said, we are pretty much at two gens though. They've been very efficient so far. It's been a, that first chase from Soma was really well played. So, can't be upset about that. I do see that guy on... Is that the Soma as well? I see him on the Weep Attunement, which is good for me. We'll pretend like we're going to walk right by him here. But I'm not actually going to. Because I see you, girly. Pop. How's it going? I'm going to get hit there. Looking behind himself, so if we aim down sights, he's just going to dodge out of the way. Pretty easy to do with this range. But at a closer range, that's much more manageable. They're both running out of main. Let's see if I can intercept a little bit. Run an intercept for us. Okay, they're on the back side of it, so we'll just pick this guy up here as is. Bill also notably had a flashlight. Uh which might be something that we play around, I'm not sure. Holy smokes, we're down to one gen. Yeah, that first chase from Soma really uh, sped sped the game up for him. But hey, that's just how it is sometimes. It's sometimes how the game goes. We see this person on uh, Human Greed, which is good news for me. So we know where one gen's being worked on. This could be also the... Yeah, this might actually just be game here already. Holy smokes. Oh, nice dodge, Bill. Well played. Well freaking played. Yeah, I really can't uh, do much about this. Aside from like chasing through this window, you know, but even then he gets the distance that he needs. He could vault it back again too if he wanted. Oh, unless I can hit that shot. But it's not going to change much because, you know, I, I get a hit on him, but then now I have to worry about the fact this gen's being worked on and there's people here and I got to get this hit and it's already at 99%. Yeah, I can't. the game's just over, bud. The game is just over. We're getting a lot of information off of our perks, which is exactly what we wanted to do, but this team has been so so well coordinated can i get the yui here no not quite uh bill's going for this exit gate we saw him go in that direction we saw that i didn't get picked up as well so let's go for bill bill's kind of in a dead zone here too which is good for me 
pretend to aim down. We know that Bill like likes to look behind himself. Checking for any sort of denards or anything like that. We get five hooks, which considering the perk build and considering like this was a much more astute, much more uh, powerful group of survivors, I think we, we're, you know what? It's not a result we can really be upset about. I mean, obviously like there's a lot of things I could have done, done differently uh, in the way of like, how do I, how do I put this? There are th some things I could have done differently in the way of actually like camping out the survivors a little bit. Um, like camping out the Yui when she was in basement, right? But in this instance, not really necessary, you know. I want you to double back around this way. Uh, I see the person. Oh, ah, and she gets out too. I should have just taken the shot. Yeah, unlucky. I almost had that, but I should. I definitely should have just taken the shot there for the kill. That was a fast game too. Damn. Uh, they might actually heal up back here and then go for the gate on this side. Or they just go for the gate directly. Well played, fellas. GG's. Very, very well played. That'll be a quick final match, but... A match that still shows off the results, but shows you that it's not an overpowered combo. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Take care, and uh, goodbye.